On the 13th of October 2015, the Israeli Security Cabinet approved closing off Palestinian towns and neighborhoods in occupied East Jerusalem in response to the continuing violence, which has so far resulted in the killings of more than 70 Palestinians, with over 8,000 Palestinians injured from live rounds, rubber-coated steel bullets, excessive tear gas inhalation, and physical attacks by Israeli soldiers. 36 Israeli checkpoints have been erected in occupied East Jerusalem since October, affecting over 230,000 Palestinians in the city. Israeli closure policies have affected approximately 60,000 students who attend nearby schools. The closures have also increased difficulties for Palestinians accessing emergency medical treatments. Two Palestinians from the towns of Jebel Mukabeh and Al Asiwiya have died due to delays at the checkpoints, which prevented them from reaching hospital. Al Asiwiya town has been severely affected by the Israeli closure policy, as four Israeli checkpoints were erected in the town closing it off from all nearby Palestinian communities in the north and in the south, and affecting the daily life of over 15,000 Palestinians. The closure of al Asawiya is allegedly for the purpose of providing security and protection to Israeli settlers living in the illegal settlements nearby. <laughs> The checkpoints in Israel's closure policies are often used as a means of enforcing collective punishment on the inhabitants of a certain area, and oftentimes on the entire population of the occupied Palestinian territory. The use of collective punishment is strictly forbidden by international law and directly violates the rights to freedom of movement, work, education, health care, and other basic human rights. The Applied Research Institute Jerusalem demands the international community to exert pressure on Israel to abide by its legal obligations and responsibilities as an occupying power under international law.